<laughs> we're about to do probably something that shouldn't be done, but we will do. We're going to take a big chunk, a uh, 4x12 piece, 4140, and going to do a super quench. For those that don't know, a super quench is basically um, a brine quench with added detergents, namely uh, liquid soap and a wetting agent, usually jet dry, we use jet dry in this case. And basically what it is, is supposed to harden steel uh, under 50 points of carbon to give you a more uh, workable and harder surface. So, we're going to try it on 4140, this big a cross section, it should work. Uh, if not, you're going to be privy to exploding steel and water shooting out everywhere and James and I running around like crazy and then crying. Screaming. Screaming and crying. Uh, the crying will come after because <laughs> that chunk of steel wasn't cheap. So, How much does this thing weigh? Uh, it's about 56 pounds. And we're bringing up how hot? Uh, we're getting into at least uh, 15, 25, probably a little bit over right now. So, we're ready to go. Are we ready, Mr. Nieto? We're ready. Okay. Ram ramming speed. I had two times up. Okay. Out, in, five, five seconds. Out, and then back in. Okay. That's fall in Texas for you. Oh crap. Well, we didn't hear any shearing. Which is good. We didn't hear any pinging. Which is good. All we've been hearing is just the bubbling and the steaming. But it would be nice if that was slowing down some. <laughs> but it doesn't seem to be. Nope. 
Vigorously bubbling. Okay, we'll uh, turn it face up. Okay, ready? Yeah, I stopped it. Whew. Yeah. Yeah. Still filming? Yeah. I guess maybe the rule here is when you're home brewing an anvil, you should probably use an air hardening seal. Yep. Did you deliberately knock it over? No, it just fell because of the ground underneath it. Here, go ahead and take the camera. Hey, Toby. What do you think? Actually got a rebound. <laughs> wow. And that's probably because we, we missed the the curve on the clinch, but not too much. We didn't get the maximum hardness we could have, but with the setup that we were using, I think this is probably about as good as you can get it. You are getting some bounce on the ground, so. Yeah. So once this is fully anchored and everything, it should should give a little more rebound. Right that's there. got everything. It's got everything you could want in a regular little stump animal. Well, it's got the temperature down. Are you ready to move into the furnace? I don't think we're gonna have to. I think we ought to for safety. Okay. All right. So basically, we probably came in a little over that transitional curve it's still warm to the touch down here at the bottom but the face is pretty cool already i think we're good to take it into the kiln just to do a stress relief yeah. that little sucker's heavy <laughs> okay. That's still it's still good and warm right in the middle. So I'm saying just put your hand over it. On the side, really quick. Yeah. That's why I'm not. I'm not too worried. 